What does it take to create the ultimate in Formula One excellence? Teamwork, ingenuity, strategy, probably all of the above. And here in Red Bull Racing, its partnership with ExxonMobil is proving that theory right. Let's take a closer look inside to see just how. Formed in 2017, these two powerhouses came together with one shared vision to produce championship winning cars season after season. And with race wins already under their belt, it looks like this could be a match made in heaven. Let's see how. Front of mind in this sport is safety. Once upon a time, on track incidents pose real risk to drivers, mechanics, and even fans. But now, thanks to enormous advances, the sport is significantly safer. One area that has advanced beyond recognition is the fuel cell. Once a stainless steel tank positioned precariously behind the driver, they are now bulletproof works of art that can withstand the impact of huge forces whilst maintaining the precise integrity of the fuel they contain. Located behind the driver's seat, the fuel is stored inside a flexible but virtually impenetrable heat-resistant cell so that even in the event of an accident, the driver is kept safe from exposure to flammable liquids. Designed so it can withstand being punctured by fast-moving projectiles, the rubberized cell is encased in military-grade ballistic-proof Kevlar. The cell's strength is strictly governed by the FIA, which insists on a puncture strength of 400 pounds. If that doesn't show you how much goes into making a successful car, then here's some more. All Formula One teams are supplied by ATL, the leading builder of fuel cells in the industry. The same technology that goes into developing fuel tanks for fighter jets and large drones is also used to regulate and protect fuel in Formula One. The Synergy race fuel is injected into the engine more than 500 times a second to enable the car to go from 0 to 160 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds. That's more than 6 million injections over an entire Grand Prix. Because the monocoque in a Formula One car needs to be as rigid as possible, when the fuel cell is fitted to the car, it must be folded up and forced through a small hole in the bottom of the chassis before being fastened behind the driver. Funnily enough, everyday talcum powder is used to do this without damaging the chassis. The fuel cell must also be a precise weight and 100% impermeable. No surprise then that Formula One teams will use half a dozen fuel tanks per year.